Hello everyone. My name is Ranan Bhattacharya and I'm delighted to be part of Discuss Agile 2017 annual conference. And I have selected my topic of discussion as Adhocracy to help the legacy system juggernauts become agile. I, I have been playing the role of agile coach for last few years with uh, large retail and oil and gas companies. And during this journey, what I have experienced is that the large legacy systems have more friction to change because of various natures of their system and the complexity in their systems. So my topic of discussion will be related to how we can take a little different approach from the leadership level, including every other level in the organization to make the large legacy systems become agile in nature. So when we talk about this particular topic, I think the first thing comes to everyone's mind is that what, what is adocracy exactly? And adocracy is a flexible, adaptable, informal form of organization. The default in an adocracy is to experiment, prototyping, to try a course of action, receive feedback, make changes and, and review the progress. Adocracies are also likely to use more flexible forms of governance so then they can be created and closed very quickly according to the nature and demand of opportunities. Now definitely the next thing will come to our mind is that okay fine but how adocracy can benefit the large organizations to become agile. It's, it's very easy to understand that all the organizations which are adopting Agile in today's world, they have seen the benefit from other organizations. And that is primarily because the demand of business world has, has been changing pretty rapidly. Gartner made a survey about the Fortune 500 companies and what they have figured out is that until 2006-2008 time, an average company used to stay for 63 years in Fortune 500 list once they become listed. But post that until today, most of the companies, those who are entering new to uh, the Fortune 500 list, they're staying at an average of 15 years. And companies like Slack and Snapchat, these all companies reached $1 billion revenue in less than a year's time. And other companies like Facebook, Tesla, Uber, these all achieved the same in, in less than five years time. So it shows that how the businesses are changing so rapidly. They're, they're growing fast. At the same time, they are falling fast as well. But the problem is that even during this era of fast changing business, there are many companies which are moving still in, in the traditional bureaucratic model, which has been in place, say, for like 50, 60 years. And some of the organizations are trying to become a little more meritocratic in nature, built around the primacy of information and knowledge of people in the system. But still, it's, it's seen that many companies have not done enough to make their decision making faster. Yes, meritocracy has its benefits. Uh, it, it helps to make things faster compared to a bureaucratic organization. But still, we believe that adocracy will become increasingly important in the decades ahead as adocracy puts more importance on the leadership style, which believes more in prototyping and experimentation rather than executing a fixed plan. So if you ask me that what are the two major challenges what I have seen in, in the large um, legacy system transformations, I would definitely say that the first one is the mindset and culture of people because these organizations have been functioning over decades and, and they have built their culture and the processes based on the way of operations for them. And that's why when we talk about agile transformations, when we talk about uh, thinking small, it becomes very, very difficult for the organizations to start thinking in that way. So all these organizations need proper support and guidance to change their mindset and culture first. And I think the second but the largest problem is the slowness in the decision making in these all large organizations. 
And, and that's where I, I personally feel that there has to be a dramatic uh, transition of the leadership so that we, we encourage people to take faster decision and at the same time we, we produce results faster so that people have belief and faith in the system. Now, how, how to improve the speed of decision making even if we talk about advocacy, how, how will it happen? See, in a, in a bureaucratic organizations, what happens is that the decisions are usually made through the hierarchy. The superior tells their subordinates what to do and, and then those subordinates talk to their subordinates and the other managers in the organization and they come up with a proposal which goes through multiple rounds of uh, reviews and finally by the time a decision is made it's somewhere between six months to one year. Yes, some of the organizations understood that that's really slow in today's world, so they tried to do uh, a little bit different approach. They, they went ahead with meritocratic approach. And in meritocracy, decisions are made through argument, discussion, with the support of data. But in this process also, the problem lies in like people spend a lot of time in collecting data so that they can convince that the decision what they're trying to put forward on the table is the best. And that again delays the process. And even in the meritocratic organizations, the large decisions are done within a time span of three to six months, not earlier than that. And that's why primarily, I think the decision-making model in adocracy in contrast is more experimental, which means consciously cutting short internal deliberations and then trying things out with customers to gain rapid feedback. And we, we keep talking about the faster feedback, right? The, the faster you get the feedback, you reduce the wastage and you validate with the people, those who are actually going to consume the work and, and you start change your course of action and immediately you, you do something. But you, you will definitely see that within the six months, you will produce some result for the customer. On the contrary, if we are using the typical bureaucratic or meritocratic approach, maybe we are still struggling to find out a decision. So that's why my topic is uh, will be around this. So it will be great if you can attend my session. I'll, I'll talk in um, detail about the frameworks and the tools what we can use uh, to make um, the organization adocratic in nature and how the leaders can adopt uh, the adocratic style. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks a lot for listening to um, this and uh, hope to see you soon.